Hey, what's up guys? ELP Modeling here and I've done one of the most requested kits actually since, uh, well forever I think. Everybody on here and on Instagram want to see this initial D86, so here it is guys. Now I'll start off with your decals. Not many on here, but you, uh, you do get the dashboard, some initial D number plates which are quite cool. A couple of Toyota ones, Sprinter, Apex, Twin Cam as well. Trueno ones. Now. The three decals for the lights and the bonnet, I'd recommend just spraying them to be honest. Because if you're going to do the bonnet with a decal, it's going to need to be black underneath or it's not going to look right. So you might as well just paint the whole thing. And then you've got a bit of consistency there, you know. So that is your decals then. Let's see exactly what is in this box. Now instructions, there is a link in the description guys, you can take a look at that. And I've had a quick look at this, I'm building the Levin at the minute. And in terms of A86 kits, you know, Truanos, this is probably the best one to get, this particular one. You'll see why when we go through the bits. Uh, we'll do the interior first, moulded in this tan colour. There are your door cards, which have wonderful uh, details of the, you know, the window winders, etc. And then you've, of course, got the rear exactly the same as the Levin, of course. And there are your standard seats. And continuing with your interior. Final sprue piece here. You've got the dashboard. Again, all moulded in tan. You've got the pedals. The steering wheel and your steering column. And then the headrests as well. Number plates. And of course, the rear view mirror and handbrake. Uh, do -do -do. We'll do the engine, actually. We'll do this gorgeous engine. Now there's some parts of this that you don't use. Like this valve cover, for example. This is just the standard 4AG engine that comes with the Aoshima Corolla kits. Not all of them, but most of them. And there you have it. It builds fantastically, by the way. I'll include some photos of what I've done with the Levin engine. It's slightly different, but you know, you get the general idea. But it does build fantastically. Everything's in there. It's not a full engine, per se. You know, the, the gearbox is moulded in, which I'll get to in a minute. But it's pretty much there, you know, it's spot on. You've got the battery and everything else like that. This really is fantastic. It really is great. Now, the bits that you will use on this particular kit are here. And you have your exposed cams there. You've got the different engine cover as well and then a few other little bits and pieces like your air funnels for the air intakes and then your carbs look how cool is that this is going to look amazing when it's built now I wasn't actually going to build this um, in initial D style so to speak um, but I think I will do I've got another one on the way and I've got plans for that and I'm actually dying to do an initial T build it's been so long since I've even started to try and do one I just want to get one going and get that done um, but here are your brakes, which are a little bit on the rubbish side, really. They are very small, and they look tiny behind Watanabe wheels. Mirror insert, which is cool. And then you've got the end piece for the muffler here. And then this exhaust, of course. And it's not bad, actually. I added a bigger tip on my Levin build. But that's not too bad. That's all right. Now, what you do get, however, are some... Quite cool seats, actually. Very, very nice. They aren't... Oh, it's, I, I'll start again. They are sort of semi-hollowish, but they're not, if you know what I mean. You will need to drill the harness holes if you wanted to fit those. Because this car really needs them. It would be so cool to fit those. Now, I'm going completely off subject here, but your bumpers... Front, of course, which is semi-moulded in, which is a bit of a disappointment, as is the Levin. I will be doing an unboxing of that as well this month. And there's your rear bumper. That needed a little bit of TLC in terms of slightly sanding these bits off to, you know, to get it fit in 100%. And I also used a bit of, uh, like a little strip of sprue 
on the back of the body as well just to secure it. And your final sort of sprue so to speak apart from your clear bits are, we'll flip this over, yes. Right you've got the rear anti-roll bar, rear suspension and then your front subframe. Wipers and your differential. You've got the radiator there and then the two sets of wing mirrors of course. They, this is just the standard sort of Corolla sprue with this bit added on which are your flip up headlights. Front suspension area with lots of I wouldn't exactly call that flash but there's lots of extra bits on there that need snipping off. Front cover as well and then you've got the rear suspension parts and then the front uh, steering arm and then those bits go at the I'm pretty sure they go at the back do they? I'm not sure what you'll see. I'm they're pretty sure they'll go at the front or the back but they're what the uh, wheels attach to. Now your bonnet of course, voila, bits for your headlights as well, and then they are more bits of your headlights, sorry guys. Now I'll show you the wheels, which are gorgeous Watanabe wheels, which I'm just going to have a closer look. They aren't staggered, but they do have the amazing tyres on them. They're really cool, those tyres, but here are your Watanabe wheels. Very, very cool indeed. Now what I've done is I've attached the body and the chassis together so you can see the sort of fitment on that. But I will get these little sprues out of the way with first. You've got your indicators and things like that for the front. And here are your rear lights. And your final two pieces. Sorry about that. There was a load of background noise, um, but that's all gone now. Um, here are your wind deflectors, which are moulded in chrome, which is a bit strange, but you also have a humongous exhaust tip, which I wasn't aware of, but there you go, that is what you'll be using. And I did lie when I said it was last sprue, but here you go. You've got the steering wheel, fog lights, the little cup as well for Takami, and you've got the strut brakes as well. Very, very cool indeed. Now this is why I said to you this is like the best kit to get. You've just got the front for the fog lights there as well guys. A couple of springs as well should you want to use them. It does sit pretty good with the springs. If you wanted to go super low just don't fit the springs. Simple as that. There isn't anything else lurking in here apart from the body. Now let me just get this out of the way. Here is your body. Not many mould lines to speak of as such. It is very very nice indeed. It'll just need a slight scribing out in the panel lines, nothing major. But this really is fantastic. Great stuff this is. Leave this in guys until the last possible minute. It'll keep the rigidity of the body while you're sanding it and things like that. Now here is your chassis which to me is the only letdown of this and the levin kit that it's all moulded in. This exhaust lets it down look how thick that is and it's just a bit rubbish really but it seems quite easy to remove it you're not going to make a huge mess of it if you remove it it's not you know it's not going to need a lot of tidying up and this is what i mean about the sort of molded it in gearbox and sump area but yeah apart from that i mean this is spot on this kit it really is a cool bit of kit i'm going to give it a nine out of ten now the only reason it loses a point is simply because of that chassis it They've gone to great lengths with everything else, everything's separate, and that's just the one letdown, really. Let me know what you think, then, guys. The, the Aishima Trueno and Levin kits have been out for a long while now. Um, let me know how you've been building. I'm just going to show you some pictures now of the Levin build that I've been doing, just a couple, and you'll see you know, how it sits on standard suspension on Watanabe's and things like that. But they are great kits to build. I can't recommend them enough. The only difference between this and the Levin, of course, is the body and the few extra little bits you get in terms of the engine and the wind deflectors, that sort of thing. So yeah, here it is then guys, the most requested kit to do an unboxing of. Ignore the last video that I did an unboxing of and saying what is the next kit to be unboxed, but you know, we'll just leave it at that anyway. Leave me a comment guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, ELP underscore modelling, I'm on there. Come follow me on there, You'll, it's a lot easier to show you builds on there guys and just any random sort of model stuff. But yeah, enough waffling on.
I'll see you in the next videos, guys. Take it easy. Bye-bye.